Welcome to Edukemi. I am Dimple Nankani, and in this video, we shall be seeing one of the most top asked question by UPSC aspirants as what is the strategy for preparing for UPSC CSE prelims in the last hundred days. We've made a series of such videos which will help you in your preparation for getting the regular updates for the same. Click the bell icon and subscribe to our channel. Coming on to the topic of the video discussion that what is the strategy for preparation of your UPSC CSC prelims in the last 100 days. Before I delve into the strategy, let me tell you some of the basic prerequisite needed for you to clear this prelims examination. You might have heard n number of times that revision, revision and revision is something which is very important for you to crack your prelims examination. Followed by the second important prerequisite is mock test. Solve around 30 to 35 mock tests before you appear for your final prelims examination. Not only solving the mock test is important, but analysis of the test. How should you do analysis? That is also asked. We will look into that. And after the analysis of the test, what are the jottings that you have to make from the test paper, the mock test paper? So two important things for you to clear prelim examination was is revision of whatever you have read at least three times. You should go, you should solve or you should go through the pages of the booklet at least three times in last 100 days. So three times revision in the last 100 days, then followed by the mock test. And do not only simply solve the mock test, analyze them and make some jottings for those tests. Moving on, now we have to plan for revision because we know that we have to go for revision. That is three times we have to see the same things in the last 100 days. So what you have to do is you have to calculate backwards. So if this is the 100 days are left, okay, plan for 50, 30 and 20. First plan for 50 days, then plan for 30 days and then you plan for the 20 days. The first phase of your revision or your preparation in this 100 days is 50 days. So in this 50 days, you have to revise all these subjects. You have to revise quality, economy, science, tech, environment, history, all of the subjects you have to revise in these 50 days. So this 50 days has to be broken down into your various subjects and along with this you'll have to divide your day also in a three part. So the, the division of the day should be the first half can be focused on the current affairs. So if I have to, if I have a target, okay, I can first start with current affairs, two hours, then revise my subject. I have to revise my subject and have to divide it. All the subjects should be done in the 50 days. And in the last time, I have to go for the test. I have to give the test. So nearly 20 tests I have to give for in these 50 days. So you will be writing every third day, every second day, you will be writing a test. When you write the test, that's also there's a strategy on how to write the test. For the first phase of preparation will be 50 days. Revise all the syllabus, do the current affairs and also write around 20 tests in these first phase of preparation. When I say write the test, what do you have to do? How do you write the test? You don't simply have to solve it. You have to sit down for two hours with the OMR sheet and then write the test. And once you've written the test, so two hours for your test. So the day revision has been, the day division has been current affairs, the subjects completion in 50 days and around 20 tests in these 15 days. This 20 tests require that you should solve those tests for two hours, sit with the OMR, OMR sheet and sit in the exam-like condition and you have to analyze the test. The second important thing after doing the test is the analysis of the test. When I say analyze the test, what you have to do is while you are solving the paper, in those two hours only, whichever question you felt, you were not very confident or you just made a study yet. So once you are attempting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Suppose you attempted 10 questions, so you were not confident for 3, for 4, for 7. So while you are attempting the test only in those 2 hours, please encircle 
the questions in which you face difficulty. Encircle the questions in which you face difficulty. So you know that this is, is this is the question wherein I face difficulty. Followed by when you are analyzing the test, when you are analyzing the test, okay. Suppose you did 90 questions, 90 questions in this 90 questions, okay. You were confident for 45, you had made studied guest for 25, and for 20 were your fluke area. So please also analyze these type of what were you confident and which confident question went wrong. Where you had made studied guess and where did it went right? What was the logic that went correct? The fluke, what is the solution given and whether it went right or wrong. So also try to analyze that if you are confident on the question that should not go wrong. Why did it go wrong? So try to analyze, okay, this was the confident question. This was the fluke question. This was the studied guess. And then you analyze the test accordingly. Now, when you have analyzed the test, you have got your marks, you have analyzed, you've also come to know about your accuracy. What you have to do is after the test, make some jottings. The test is not only for two hours. The test is completed only when after the two hours, you've sat with the solution and you've read the solution and you have written some points from those solution in a register. So it is very important that what do you revise the last few days, last three days of the test, what uh, before your prelims examination, what do you revise? The register, this register where you've made jottings of what went wrong, what were the confident questions you did not do properly, that will be in this register. So make that jottings and this jottings becomes important for you to revise at the end of the preparation. So the first phase, consists of 50 days revision of all the subjects, current affairs completion, solving 20 tests, analyzing those 20 days tests and writing them in the register. This is the first lag in your preparation for 100 days. The second phase of preparation, we have the 30 days in the 50, 30, 20 I said. So this is the 30 days wherein we have to again complete the revision once again for whatever subjects we had. So 50 days before and the in the second phase, we did the 30 days for the revision. And here you have to write the test every alternate day. 15 tests can be written in these 30 days. You've already written 20 tests. Again, you are writing some 10 to 15 tests here. 10 to 15 tests can be written here. Sit down for two hours, exam sheet, use the OMR. Why am I repeatedly focusing on OMR? What happens is in the final examination, at times you mark the incorrect option despite knowing the answer correctly. So instead of B, you will mark B. Instead of C, you will mark B. One single silly mistake like this costs you minus 2.6 because you were knowing it correct. So it was plus 2 for you. But it will cost you minus 2.66 in your examination. There is no scope of silly mistake. You can avoid the silly mistake only when you sit in the exam-like condition. You have trained your brain to sit in the examination-like condition. The third important phase, the last leg of the race is revise the static portion again. We have those 20 days. In those 20 days, revise the static portion again. Do not rush for the test in the last leg. Only write about four to five tests in the last leg. Otherwise, you know, you will become either too overconfident or you will become too underconfident. So less number of tests in the last leg here. Here you have to revise the register. This is the register where you have written your weak points. This is the register where you've written your weaknesses. This is the register where you have written the mistakes. So last phase, this register becomes very important for you to revise. The register should also be revised after every end of the phase. So second phase, revise the register. Third phase, revise the register. Second phase, revise the register. So the register would also be revised three times. Register is like that pothi, right? That has your weaknesses, your strengths, as well as your mistakes. So it is something very individualized to you. So please keep that so that you have sufficient revision for that register. Now, Remember the thing that the more you sweat in practice, the less you bleed in war. So you have to sweat in these last 100 days. Make the best use of it for any other thing, for any other support. Please type uh, your issues on the comments and do visit our website. We have a series of programs coming up to help in your prelims examination. Thank you. Bye-bye.